Hey there guys, I want to show you my recipe and process for making uh, my 5 gallon CO or DIY CO2 injection system. Um, it's pretty simple, I've got a 2 liter bottle, um, this is the reaction vessel, it'll have yeast, sugar, and water in it. Fill the uh, cap on, I used uh, Gorilla Glue actually to seal it pretty much all I had. Works well too. I uh, have that running into a valve check so uh, it doesn't back siphon into my tank. And then this end of the tubing will hook onto my diffuser. Anyway, this is the, or I've got just plain white granulated sugar. <sighs> plain white granulated sugar. And for my 10 gallon and the 2 liter, I put usually about um, a cup to two cups of sugar. It'll, it's usually more than enough um, than what's actually required. It's kind of actually hard to even diffuse it that much at that point. Hard to uh, dilute it actually. Anyway. Shot a third hand. Anyway, I've got a uh, makeshift um, funnel out of a piece of paper and uh, some tape. One second. Okay, that should work. Hopefully. Anyway, generally take the sugar. It's really not an exact science. I was considering keeping track of how much I put in to find the most optimum recipe, but I've got a lot of other things to do right now. So that's a little more than half a cup. And as you can see, it's getting there's a decent amount of that. probably even two cups, more than I'll need. Uh, my next step would be to dilute all the water. I use, I just use sink water, and sink water. And warm water will help the sugar uh, dissolve faster. And I mean, I've even, I use hot water even. Uh, Fill it up a little bit of the way. I guess this is where one of the uh, flip cameras would come in handy. Anyway, let me shake it up a little bit. That gets a lot of the sugar moving around and dissolved. It's, it's not going to be able to dissolve all of it in this amount of water. But it's a good start. Take the cap off, do it a little more. And you'll do this until you have it about three quarters of the way full. So, up to about there or so. And then the next step would be yeast. Alright, guys, like I said, next step of the process and probably the main ingredient is. Yeast. I use just regular bread uh, baking yeast. And for my 10 gallon and my 5 gallon recipe, actually, I use a quarter teaspoon or so of it. It's just a nice little scoop. I, I even just use the, uh, the sugar cup. And uh, once again, tap water. This time, though, instead of having it really hot to dissolve the uh, dissolve the sugar. You want a, like a decent warm temperature. Um, you want to be able to activate the dried yeast. Just put a little bit in. Use your finger. 
stir it all up and activate it. And kind of break up the big chunks. Starts giving a nice uh, distinct bread smell, yeast smell. I kind of like it. So. It's pretty good. Uh, good thing about these measuring cups is they have nice little uh, pour things. I don't, I don't know what you call it. Spitty spout? I don't know. Anyway, let me shut off the water. See if I can do this one handed. I'm going to throw it up in the sink as I recommend you guys should just so, just to be safe. Um, so we pour it in to the uh, dissolved sugar solution. You're pretty much guaranteed to not get everything first time. So, a little bit more and have it fill up a decent amount of the way. You don't want it too high because you don't want it to uh, bubble over into your tank if uh, that's a possibility. Uh, but yeah, just seal it up, give it a little shake, and hook it up to the diffuser, and it'll be good to go. So this is how I do DIY CO2 on my 10 gallon. It's a nice simple recipe. I highly recommend it to everyone. I use it on my low light tank and my uh, medium high light 5 gallon tank. I don't really know how to classify it so many different ways, but um, it really gives a huge boost to your plants. They love it. Growth will be, or their growth will be so much healthier and they'll be so much happier in general. Anyway, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, and check out Fish